That song is played every time a president enters a public room. Does anybody know why? Well, the only reason that that infernal song is played is because nobody noticed me when I entered a room. <laughs> I imagine some of you are unsure of who exactly is addressing you. I ran for president in 1844. This very question was used by my opponent. I was the first and most unanticipated American presidential candidate to make it all the way to the White House. <laughs> okay, okay, well maybe not the most unanticipated, but I was first. What got my blood boiling and brought me out of retirement, shall we say, was a ranking of historical importance by a magazine calling itself Time Magazine. This publication says that it ascertained the 100 most influential people throughout history. I, James K. Polk, did not make Time's list. However, King Arthur did. <laughs> Mythical King Arthur. <laughs> By my summation, you will agree that yes, James K. Polk counts among the most significant Americans of all time. Mr. Polk, offering more money won't increase your boy's chances of pulling through. Now, yes, I believe I can greatly improve the quality of young Jim's life here. He might not be strong enough to physically withstand the shock to his system. Well, it's akin to a three-ring circus with a sideshow. With the delegates and the delegates, we have a collection of smoke blowers, snake charmers, kingmakers, and clowns. Good to see you, sir. <laughs> the same collection that operates to this very day. I am James K. Polk.